Hello YouTube. Welcome to Monday evening. Uh, snowstorm is coming in, but that did not stop the mail person. Well, it's not snowing yet, but this is what I got today. So it's as good a time as any to open this thing. Um, if you if you saw the first one on the channel about a month ago, you would have seen uh, us pop open this Ash Rider uh, Ola album along with a late 70s, late career, T-Rex record, Bowen's zip gun, and then this funky piece of stuff called loincloth. Yeah, he of the great title, um, which I haven't played more than once. Uh, and I rated this uh, vinyl package a 1.5 out of three, I guess one and a half decent albums out of three. Um, the one being the Ash Rider, which I still don't even know if that's how to pronounce her name. Um, there she is. This is really a good pop record. Um, and uh, the people at Vinyl knew I was into power pop. So uh, it made sense that they would recommend this for me. And I was happy to get it. Um, watch the video. It's uh, in my archive. And you can see uh, the unboxing of this. Well, this marks month number two of this whole three-month vinyl experiment. And... Um, this month I chose, um, I guess, I don't know what my vibe was. I, I don't know if that's the vibe or not. Let's get physical. I don't remember, quite honestly. I don't think the vibes mean anything. If you're thinking about doing a vinyl subscription, you can comment once you've done it. I, I don't think it does. This month I already chose my third month uh, vibe, and it's something about USA, A-A-A-Y-Y-Y, or something. It's trendy. I, I, don't, I don't buy it. I have no idea what it means. Um, in any case, uh, real quick again, if you didn't watch the first video, if you have no idea what these pink boxes are, uh, Vinyl VNYL is a subscription service. Uh, I subscribed three months for uh, 95 or some odd dollars, and um, each month you get three records uh, hand curated by for you by a specific person based on a, a exhaustive survey that you complete all the questions for in combination with a link to your Discogs and or Spotify accounts. Um, I have all of my records on Discogs and so they were able to look and see what my what my likes and dislikes are and the first time they tried and you saw what I got. So I'm hoping for a better return the second time although I'm not expecting much at all actually based on previous vinyl entries. You know, as, as I've said multiple times, my two loves are Prague and, and, and Power Pop. And so I, I, I like Genesis and Old Yes and Spock's Beard and Neil Morse, as you saw in my last video. And my second love would be uh, Power Pop. So like the Beatles and Squeeze and Joe Jackson and all that. Uh, you know, early, early 80s, late 70s, Power Pop, The Pretenders, FM radio like Foreigner and Styx and Journey and bands like that as well. So I have a pretty wide range. Um, you know, and I thought with those, uh, with that, with that survey and that Discogs account, that uh, the person over at Vinyl would be able to curate me some cool stuff. So we're going to open the, the second box today, and as I did with the first box, I'm going to pull out each record uh, individually. There should be a handwritten note in here as well, and we'll see if they do better the second time. All right, so here goes. Box is open. There it is. Here we go. So I can feel there's one that is thicker than the others. So we'll go with one of the back ones first. The first album this month is Circles. And this is uh, Block Party, B-L-O-C Party. And the album is called Four. Includes 180 gram vinyl and digital download card. Block Party, B-L-O-C. Um, I don't know what kind of music this is. I do, I do not know. Maybe one of my trusty assistants can find that out. They are sitting right over there off camera. B-L-O-C Party. It's cool 180 gram vinyl. It's all shrinked up. Looks nice. Um, and based on the names of the songs, um, So He Begins to Lie, Octopus, Real Talk. All right, we have an answer. Go ahead. Um, you can talk. So, Block Party is an English rock band. English rock band. That doesn't say much, but I like... English people, and I like rock music, so what else? That's it? Um, I mean... The album is called Four, F-O-U-R. I would guess this is their fourth album. I don't know. All right. Block Party Four. And, and I will make... Oh, what do you got? It says their oh. brand of music, uh, whilst rooted in rock, retains elements of other genres, such as electronica and house music. 
It looks like Electronica cool. and house music, she said. I don't know if that's me. I know that's not me. I'm trying to be nice. But listen, I will make a follow-up video like I did with the first one. I'll listen to all of these, and um, I'll let you know what, what I think. All right? And we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll rate them. All right, but that's... Uh, that's one in. Um, and what label is this on? I'm curious. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to see the... Um, I can't see from here. And I, and I'm too, oh, here we go. French Kiss Records. Oh. Next up. I'll get the thick one next. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well, this one we know. That's the Motley's. Motley Crew. Girls, girls, girls. Vinyl reissue. 180 gram cut from the original Analog Masters. Pretty impressive. Am I a Motley Crue fan? What do you think? You say they're shaking their head. Yeah, I'm a Motley Crue fan. Listen, unabashedly, I was born in the late 60s. That makes me in my early 20s and the early 80s, mid 80s. So I was 20 years old in the mid 80s. So how can I not like Motley Crue? Uh, Girls, Curls, Girls was uh, an album that they made right before they almost all died. Um, right around this time, Vince had his car accident, Nikki overdosed on heroin, and this was a down time for the band. This was not a great record. Um, however, however, I'm happy to have it. It's a, it's a good selection. Uh, my favorite all-time Motley Crue song is on this record, Wild Side. Uh, it's the very first song on it, so that's kind of cool. Um, the Wife is a bit of a Motley Crue fan. We saw them on their farewell tour uh, a year and a half, two years ago. So that's kind of cool. Motley Crue, girls, girls, girls. Not bad. All right, the final selection this month is something out of the shrink. Sorry, I'm not showing you. Uh, what is this? This is DAP Girls, D-A-A-P Girls, Look Inside Your Love. This is uh, something that's not shrinked, so I don't know if this is a used unit. DAP Girls. Soul Step Records, look inside your love. Soul Step Records, Dap Girls. They're very new. <coughs> they only have a Wikipedia page, so they're very new. Very new. They don't even have a Wikipedia page, I'm told. They're on SoundCloud, so they're definitely very new. Um, independent artists. All right. I don't know what this is. I will be open-minded and listen, and I, I'm going to read the, the card. That came with the selections this month, so maybe there's some insight there as to what this is. Let's see. Each month you get the card. There it is. And a sticker. The sticker has some letters on it as though I was taking an eye test. Can you read line four? Here's the card. Hey, Jordan. Hope you liked your first box. Well, I gave it a one and a half out of three, so I guess that's a 50%. This month, I've got you Motley Crue's Girls, 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 which shows us what 80s glam metal was all about. Next, a no dams given frenzied rock record from Dap Girls. All right. So they call it a no, no dams given. And I like rock and roll without giving a damn. So Dap Girls. Finally, some dark, turbulent guitar rock. From the London Outfit Block Party. Enjoy, Ryan. Huh. All right. Quick recap. There's no, there's no cell sheet contained in here like I had last month. They had uh, some advertisement. So, to recap, we have Block Party 4, which I was told by the trusty assistants over here that this may be electronic-based uh, and, and rock. Um, Ryan calls it. Dark, turbulent guitar rock. That sounds up my alley. Really interesting to see. Uh, album number two was the classic Girls, Girls, Girls from the Motleys. And album number three was Dap Girls. Uh, pretty cool artwork on the back. And uh, Look Inside Your Love. They, they kind of have this simulated cassette insert. So maybe a little bit retro. That'd be kind of cool. I had a lot of these growing up. A lot of these. Maxell cassettes. You are cassettes. Um, normal position. Oh yeah. Takes me back. All right. Well, 
Um, next video you will see, I have, actually have one uh, Vinyl Finds video that I have to make. I will uh, also listen to all three of these, test them out, spin them, and give you a complete review next time. We have one more shipment from Vinyl that should be here within the month of uh, March, perhaps for a few days of April. We'll make a video on that as well. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the review of these and uh, for that Vinyl Finds video. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.